the first thing I want to do is to establish a straight line across here. I'll lay the saw on that, my fingers on both sides, siding down the saw until I have a little bit of a track for the saw to ride in. I'm then going to start to work my way down. I'm trying to stay fairly close to this edge and only cut on this edge so that this part assists in tracking. When you hold the saw, you want to hold it loosely. Uh, it should float in your hand. If you try to grab it firmly, your chances of trying to work it uh, out of a straight line are increased. Since you've got a quarter inch shoulder all the way around, if you overcut a 30 second, it's not going to be a real critical aspect. And for the other side. note that you can't steer the saw at this point. You, you've already made your choice. You just want to let the saw do its job. You're not forcing it. The teeth will only cut as quickly as they are sharp and the fineness of the set. Now I'm going to take a jeweler saw, which is essentially a small coping saw, and cut out some of the waste. Uh, you can chop it out with a chisel, uh, you can bore it out with a, a drill bit, um, whatever you have handy that, that you like to use. Come on. What's going on here? There we go. Oh, can't do this side, that's in the way, I gotta swing it over. Since I have the horn here, I can't swing the saw, so I have to rotate the board. And finish cutting it out.
Now it's ready to simply be chopped down to the line from both sides and squared up. Since bruising of the line is not that critical, it's going to be covered by the shoulder when we put this on. I don't have to be as careful with this as if it was furniture work. I can use a mortising chisel instead of a bench chisel. The cut uh, won't be quite as fine, but it's intended to take off a lot of meat. It doesn't dull as quickly. On this one, I came much closer to the line so I can take it off in a single uh, stroke. This one I didn't do as well. I'm going to have to take it off in two sections. I'm only going to go about halfway down. And I'm registering in the knife line. You can see the knife line there. I'm placing it until I feel it's in. Well, not this time. Okay, for my final cut, I'm placing it in the line. When you chisel, uh, it has a tendency you don't want to drive over. You want to try and counter that and hold it. So I've hit the line on both sides. I'll turn the piece over. Repeat the process. You'll notice that I have not gone all the way through. There's still a high point in the center. If I'm so inclined, I can chisel out some of that. Or I can use a couple of tools to clean out those surfaces. And that's the option I'm going to use. <laughs> 